Wow, this is so complicated. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let's see. Hey, Rustic Ink Angel, how are you? I wasn't sure that I would get this done correctly. I've not done one before like this. Okay, this is what I'm making. Let me just get this up just a bit. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, you can watch how I work. <laughs> I'm good. I'm really good. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Okay, this is our exploding box. But I want to make one bigger simply because my little embroidery scissors are too big to go in there. So I need a bit of height. So I'll probably add another inch to this. Okay, so I'll cut my cardboard. Where are you from, Angel? Let me see. Utah. I know the fabrics are gorgeous, aren't they? And then I dug in and found these ones, and I think they're going to be nice too. Cutting three and a half. I think three and a half is a good size. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've subscribed to you, Rustic Angel. Okay, three and a half, and let's go four and a half. Let's see if that's. Maybe even four. No, we'll go with we'll go with four and a half. This one or this one? I like them both, but I particularly love this one. Unfortunately, I don't have any left. Okay, I've got three and, oops, a half by four and a half, and I'm going to need four of them. 
The second one, this one, the one with the reds. Now I'm in Australia. I tell you, I wish I was in the UK. That's where I was. Um, I was from originally. I came here about 40, 40 years ago and I've never been home, which is a shame. <laughs> Oh no, I hate the accent. I really, really do. <laughs> I come from Scotland and I quickly got rid of my Scottish accent for this god awful Australian one. <laughs> hate it. Let's move my camera a bit. Okay, two. That's my little dog in the background. Are you kidding? No. Your American accent is bound to be much nicer than this one. One, two, three and a half. So what were you going to go live with, Angel? You said you might have gone live, but you were a bit tired. Oh, thank you. He is a chihuahua, six-year-old and extremely neurotic. <laughs> Spoilt. And the love of our lives. It's just me and hubby these days, so we're um, empty nesters. They've all gone. So they had to be replaced somehow. <laughs> He's our second little doggy. Okay, got four of these. And my base is going to be... Three and a half. Just got another piece of box board. Oh, I'll tell you what, when the sirens go, like the ambulance and what have you, mostly ambulance, we don't get much crime around here, uh, he goes ballistic, he howls like a wolf. For such a tiny wee fella, he can make a lot of noise. <laughs> okay. That's the way that's going to go. I don't see any problems with that. My scissors will fit in there. Cool. Just hope my fabric's wide enough. Trying to save on fabric a bit. Pomeranians are gorgeous. There's somebody else watching, is there? How can you tell? I can't. 
Oops. Yes, if you're watching, come in and say hi. It'll be a first for me. Okay, just this is just the white all purpose glue. Pop that down there. Because I've got a striped fabric, I'm going to try and keep it kind of level. watched a great um, live video with Di Di, Di Kirby from New Zealand. Do you know her Angel? Always love popping in with Di. Okay, leaving a little bit of leeway. We'll stick, whoops, stick this one down. We're a wee bit crooked there. Ah. That's better, I think. Not to worry if it isn't. Have you heard about the fires around here, Angel? The whole country is burning. Oops, what did I do? Sorry about the camera. I'm just trying to get it done right. Okay. Yeah, our whole country's burning just about, all in the eastern area. A good part of our state, Victoria, is on fire. It's just too sad, too sad.
Okay, that's that. Camera still hasn't got the right angle. That's better, I think. Okay, I might trim these ones just a little bit more. How did you know there was somebody else in here? I can't I can't see that myself unless people comment. Oh yes, hey Jude. Saw you at, at yes, yeah, saw you at Mama Die Dies earlier. Hey, I like those bins that Ruby was doing. I might have to make myself some of them. Okay, now, see if I can remember how I did this. Okay, I think I cut it down to there and there. Yeah, I love watching uh, Die Live. She's always a laugh. Oh, where my title is? Here's my title. Exploding Sewing Box. Okay. No. Are you in New Zealand, Jude? Mm. 
That would be my ultimate place to live if I couldn't get home to Scotland. I mean, you couldn't get much closer to Scotland, could you? Than the land of the big white cloud. Or the long white cloud. Yeah, I'd love to visit. I'd love to do a cruise. Okay, so I've turned in all my top bits. Now, um, put this all the way down to the center. Oh no, it's shocking, absolutely shocking, Jude. It's just the wildlife that has been destroyed is just heartbreaking. I mean, some of the firefighters have said they could hear them screaming, you know, oh my God. Okay, I know I've got to cut this a special way, but I'm not quite sure. Well, I think it's this way. No, that's not it. It just feels like Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland are all hell on earth, you know? It's just terrible. Oh no, I'm so sorry. On the bucket list. <laughs> well, I hope you make it. <laughs> My bucket list is so damn long. I think New Zealand is first on our list. So we probably never get home. Although we've recently become Australian citizens after so long. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Lotto would be good. Hubby does that one all the time. But sadly, so far, he's got off the computer and said, we're still poor, babe. <laughs> Oops, a little bit of glue in there, I think. Looking good. A 
Luckily, luckily, at this stage, we're not in the fire zone. But I have a sun in Melbourne. Sorry, but last I heard he was okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He wins little bits, you know, enough to play the next lotto or to play an extra one, you know, which is good. But it would be nice to hit the jackpot. I think I'd take the first plane over to Scotland and check out all the rallies that I've missed. my husband has been here for oh when did you come over he was four 64 now so he's been here for 64 years and oddly enough um he still wants to go back you know to the old country because he never saw much of it And you wouldn't appreciate much when you're four years old, would you? I came over when I was 18. It was either here or Canada. And I chose here. At that stage of my life, I, I don't think I realised how beautiful New Zealand was, otherwise I might have chosen that. Oh, I miss home very much. I miss it very much. Okay, that's the outside of my box. Now I've got to cut some more card. Whoops, set my flannel on that. So that was three and a half, so I'm going to go three and three and what? Oh, the Bruce clan. Oh, wow. Oh, now you've added an extra star to my dream of going to New Zealand. <laughs> I'm from um, Campbell and McIntosh clans. I'm going to go three. Oh, Bobby, don't, 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 don't. It's daddy coming back. Don't. Every time he hears the roller door. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Jaffa. No. I'll go three and one eight for this one, I think. Three and one eighth. Are you from the North Island? Oh, I shouldn't be using that. Idiot. I 
I think four and one eighth. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah. Wow. So, was your husband born in Scotland? I guess you two know each other. Hey Jude, love that. Seriously? Wrong crystal.
She's got a fabric board vault, is she? Lucky die die. Okay, four of them. Let's look for. Um, three and one eighth, and three and one eighth. But the middle. Yeah. going to use some, I think this is Flies Fix. It's a real stiff, stiffener thing, and I think it's about an eighth of an inch thick. About an eighth of an inch thick, so I'm just adding that little bit of padding on there. tape on here. I am using fabric dude, yeah. I was going to do it in paper but I didn't have anything pretty enough. Next statement. If you couldn't get your hands on, on any of this stuff, you could use quilter's batting. Just as good, just as thick. do with it. Oh cool. Now what time would that equate to us in Australia and New Zealand? You guys are about two hours or so in front of us. Yeah, I think I might get some fabric ready 
for that um, live YouTube and do it while while watching her. That'd be cool. Um, Fabri-Tac. Oh, what is it? Is that a glue? No, I'm using PVA. Just PVA glue. Ten or eleven AM. Okay. Actually, that fabric tape, that's a clear glue, isn't it? For paper and fabric, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I'm I don't use that. Is it good? I've seen a lot of people use it. Yeah, it would be expensive here too, I expect. I use this a lot, the Art Glitter Adhesive. Now, I bought this, which is 240ml or uh, is 8 ounces, and this one as well which is two ounces, with the cap, and that costs me either $54 or $58, this, in Australia. How does that compare in New Zealand? This is a, I mean, it's a brilliant glue, but I don't know that I'll buy it again, not at that price. It's crazy. Everything's expensive here. I expect New Zealand's the same. And their excuse is um, freight. I'll have to check out the price of that Fabri-Tac, especially when I'm working with um, the paper. Putting this on rough side down. It's normally an iron on thing. Okay, four of them. Now, this one. I know, I, my table is a little bit unsteady, so my camera keeps moving. I'm moving it on purpose this time. And I bump it occasionally, sorry. Okay, what I'm going to do here, this, that one here is, is padded, because that's a pin cushion. So I'm going to just draw that out 
double it over. Like that, PVA. It's all right. 500 mils for 10 bucks. Do you get that at Bunnings? Mmm. I used to be able to buy some stuff from Amazon the US, but now they won't sell to Australia. Bit of a bummer, but it's a lot cheaper. Okay, I'm looking for, need a little thread. This is a bit I sew, just a little bit. Oh, wow. better than you the one you can get at Bunnings what's it called oh aquity internal wood glue okay threading threading I'm actually going, ooh, going to make a little pillow out of this. Just over sewing roughly all the way around because then I'm going to stuff it. I do find that some of the um, the white wood glues, they especially if I'm working with paper and cardboard, they make it uh, warp a little bit. Do you find that at all? You know, on the on the um, the page where I put the glue and put the paper on, it sort of. After a minute or two, it's going like that, which kind of spoils the look, as it would. Oops, don't leave that open a bit. So grab some stuffing. I have to have a little show and tell 
I just made this for my great grandson. Isn't it just cute? It's so cute. I've been knitting while I've been watching cricket. Anyway, I've got a bit of stuffing which I'm going to stuff in here. A chopper, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't buckle. Okay. I'll have to look out for that. Now I've, I've used this PVA glue on this um, project and it hasn't buckled. So I don't know, maybe this is a good brand. Sullivan's. I've not used it before. Okay, I ran short of thread there. So I'll just put a little bit of glue in just to finish that last bit off. Yeah, I've got to put a hole in here. So I'll just mark out the middle. Put a chomper in. It's not, um, no, it's not terribly hot today, but it's going to go hot in the next few days. I bet you. They're all worried about more bushfires because the weather's going to be above 40. Which is not good, not good at all. So I'm just sticking that down onto that tape. Now I'm going to cut this pretty fabric. Yeah. I'll 
I'll keep the salvage on. I'm not that fussed about, about it. So. No, not all of them. Hmm. It just seems that once they get one fire under control, another one starts somewhere, you know. It's just awful. Okay, I'm pulling that over. I don't want to pull it too hard because I still want the, the puff. I'm just going to take off the corners here. Just push that in just a little bit. So we've got a nice, nice pillow there. Yeah, I know. And we're actually not anywhere near um, all those fires, but there is a wood yard just behind us in a forest behind that. So, you know, there's always that worry. Oops, bit of dry glue there. Ew. Okay. Okay, let's see if we've got a nice button. This is one of the junk boxes. I don't, I don't have anything in red. Hmm. That one's okay. Put it on top of the green, that'll look okay. Yeah, I like that. I could put a bead. And, no, 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 no. Oh no, that's not going to work. That's too big. Got 
go to first box, this one. Oh, I put a bread in there. Not a button. Did you notice that? Not exactly sewing things, but I might have something else, some other breads. Here we go. with this lot I think that one Oops, that one or nope that'll do so I don't have to sew that's good Yeah, I like them. I'll have to buy a small pair of scissors for this one. These just do not fit. Too tall. Okay. I'll have to give our bread a guide. So I'll pop this needle through there. So the bread knows where to go. It doesn't have a long enough post. Damn, that's too small. How about this one? Be too small. No, that's not going to work. this one. Definitely. Probably should have a washer in there. Cover it in tape. That should keep it in place.
Oops, I have to cover this. Getting ahead of myself. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to cover. Absolutely, just winging my way through this because I've forgotten how I did the last one. Probably get two out of this piece. Have you made any of these, dude? You reckon this will fit? But I do want to um, just a little. Yeah, about that. So that when this goes on, oh, when this goes on, I'm not exactly happy with it. It's okay. More glue. It is pretty fabric, isn't it? Oops. I actually watched a lady do one of these, but she did it with paper. <clears throat> which I think is so much easier than doing it with fabric. Use a bone folder. Yep, it's folding up really good. <laughs> so you don't do much sewing. Do you work with paper?
Oh, there we are. You still there, Jude? this in. Oops. I'm going to use this. Oh, thank you. My favorite colors. Uh, no, not really. I really have a favourite colour to be honest. I used to think it was green because I just loved trees and obviously trees are green most of them um, but I find I don't make stuff in green so maybe it's not my favourite colour. I tend towards pinks I quite like purple. Oh, I'll motor our horse's ass out of this bit. But I must admit, I do love the red and the pink in this one. I like floral fabrics and floral papers. Okay, what's next on the agenda now? We've got to cover these. Go on there. In the interest of saving fabric, I wonder if I could do that. I don't want to risk it. So. My stash of fabric is sadly depleted. So I went through a stage when I wasn't going to do any more sewing. I have all my craft stuff to the op shops and have regretted it ever since. nice really is a pretty fabric
I like fabrics that uh, go together, you know, like red and pink and beige with cream. And green would also go with this. I like um, blue with yellow. It's a stunning combination. I actually thought of going back to the <laughs> the op shop I gave it to because it was like um, four or five of those big plastic tubs full of stuff. Embroidery hoops as well, all sorts of shit. And you think, you know, I haven't used that for so long. That time ago, that away. 10 minutes down the track, you're looking for it. So I have vowed not to throw any craft stuff away anymore. That looks rather nice, doesn't it? Now I'll find some red ribbon. Actually, the same ribbon would probably go. Oops. This dries fairly quickly, this glue. It's quite tacky. Do you have Lincraft over there, Jude? Yeah, I think she's um, she's doing one tomorrow. So I'm going to hopefully remember that and tune in. little bits
I have this little this little pouch bag a friend gave me she made for me and I never thought to you know copy it out and and do it bits and bobs isn't that cute so I just chuck things embroidery thread Yes, you certainly need some containers on the desk for bits and pieces. And with this, this is my little rubbish bin. Which is full. Okay, one to go. We're looking good. I don't think I'll get to finish it all in this vid. I'm getting a small back standing up here. I tend to work standing up. Constructing a wedding dress. Oh, you lucky duck. Did you get it from the op shop or is it yours? Oh my gosh. Six, six wedding dresses to deconstruct. Oh my gosh. Address, here I come. <laughs> Give you my email lady.
Oh my, wow. Oh no, thank you. Those, those are the kind of things that I use for my, um, my little cushions. Little, um, what do I call them? Little decor pillows. Bridal lace when I can find it. Wow, was it easy to uh, for her to move to the US? Not that I would want to move there. We watch a lot of crime shows based in the US. It scares the pants off me. <laughs> There's crime everywhere. Gosh. But of course it isn't. It just seems like it. Okay. It's looking okay. It's not as perfect as I would like. Just keep this one for myself, I think. Okay. I might just use a red ribbon for this. Thank you. Oh, lucky you. How does she find it? Does she like it? In Chicago of all places. Or I could do something different. I could make a, a strip using this. And then I'll tie that in. Tie the outside in with the inside. I might do that rather than... Yeah. She loves it.
too slow. <laughs> I think it would suit us fine. <laughs> So how long has she been there? Oh, I know. The craft things they can get over there are incredible that we just don't get here. Even Europe get better than we get. It sucks. Should I go that way? Okay, Jude, that way. Or choose that way. Or that way. Oh, only July. Okay, so it's all new to them. Good luck to them, absolutely. That one? Yeah, you're right. That way they can all be uniform. So I think I might get three out of this piece. Right. Not one for measuring. Perfect. What, these? Oh, I might add them to my shop. There's my, my address goes across the screen. Whoops, down there. Madeit.com.au, Stella's Vintage Gifts. I've got a little shop there. And I've got all sorts of things from my decor pillows to uh, dream catchers. Um, what else have I got? Boxes. I love making boxes. Awesome. Well, I think I might close this with tape or I'll sew it. Hmm. Or should I go that wide? I'm looking at that wide. Yeah, that wide, I think. That's good. I'm actually going to give these a little bit of a press.
That looks fantastic. It really does. And where's my pretty little scissors? See if she fits. Beautiful. That's good. Then I'll probably put a a pack of needles. And with this one, I've got a little pouch. So I'll, I'll do the same on this. I'll put a little pocket on that one. And maybe put a card of buttons in there. And then I'll fill these with pins. Maybe a little tape measure on that one. Yeah. I like the top of this, this box here. It's a gold leaf thing, and I make these um, beaded flowers. Love making them. I add them to a lot of my boxes. Love them. Okay, Jude, I'm going to quit for now. Thank you very much for um, chatting with me. Oh look, my screen shows more orange, and that's actually that's actually a vibrant red, not orange. Does it look orange to you? Oh, you're welcome. Any time. That's been great having someone to talk to. <laughs> It does look red. Oh, okay. It must be my screen. It does look a bit orange, but it's definitely beautiful red. Yeah. Must be. Yeah. Okay, my love. And um, thank you so much for the what you're going to send me. That is just out of this world. It's amazing. <laughs> Okay, love it. I'm going to go now. You have a nice evening. You too, love. Bye-bye. Okay, Hopefully see you next time. Surprise. <laughs> no, mate.